It's almost here, just the excitement level as you see this update and then the updates throughout the state. Exactly right. I mean, I can't wait for Saturday. Been, you know, since I arrived on campus officially on January the 1st, have been kind of pinpointing uh, to this day where we open this facility and all the renovations throughout Razorback Stadium. And, you know, I'm excited to see the reaction to all of our fans when they pile in here on Saturday. And our team runs through this brand new North End Zone facility through the A and out onto the field. And just to see the energy and the passion and excitement of Razorback football fans. You come in, this project's underway. Uh, how do you take it on to make sure it gets done to, to where it is to, for, for the kickoff? Well, quite honestly, I stay out of the way uh, for the most part. I mean, this this was probably, you know, 70% done when I arrived. And uh, Matt Trantham and his staff and our capital project here did a great job of bringing me up to date. Um, we made some decisions from a budgetary standpoint to make sure that it remained within budget. Um, and but you know, and then the signage you see, I was able to kind of touch and feel the graphics and and make some adjustments uh, that I thought were maybe a little bit better for that. But uh, we got an incredible team that was working on this project and did a, uh, an incredible job of getting this to this point. Premium seating is the the way of the times now. Uh, just everything that went into making sure that fans would get what they wanted when they came. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there, there is a premium, and a premium is, there's, comes with a price tag, and there's a donation tied to the Razorback Foundation as well as your tickets. And um, so we wanted fans that purchased, um, whether it was a loge box, a suite, or a club seat in this venue, to have every am amenity that they wanted from the free food and non-alcoholic beverages to their vantage point of the game to the distributed sound to the television throughout the facility so that they have a great game day experience when they're part of this. Different levels have different themes. How, how important was that to kind of connect to the past and the future um, when you come into these different levels of this North End Zone? Sure. Our football program and our athletic department has a very rich history from the, the days in the, the Southwest Conference to now the Southeastern Conference. We won a national championship, conference championship, been to 40-plus bowl games. It was very important for us to tie this facility to the history and tradition of our program. You had a showing of the new locker room to the players on Saturday. You had some fans in here to test things out on Saturday. Just the reaction to both of those uh, as you kind of had your ribbon cutting on Saturday. It was just so um, incredible to see the smiles on everyone's faces. You know, when our players came down the steps from kind of simulating the hog walk and they, they walked in the locker room and all of them had their cameras on and uh, just the, their excitement and the energy they had as they ran out onto the field. And then just to see the smiles on the faces of all their fans as they were just amazed and blown away uh, by the quality of this facility. I think it exceeded everyone's expectations. How much work went into making sure this was going to be done by the, the first kickoff? Well, we have been sprinting here, especially in the last four to six weeks, and um, our general contractors, CDI and Hunt, have done an incredible job. Our architects that were on site and our capital projects and facilities team, I mean, this has been, uh, people have been working around the clock, literally, to make sure that we were able to get to September 1st with this facility looking like this. 160 million here in the north end zone, but you updated your existing clubs to, to kind of match what you did here uh, in this. Yeah, $160 million is the whole um, Razorback Stadium project in totality. This building itself was about 120, and then we did $40 million of innovations to uh, the, at the south end and, and the club and suites, and then on the east and west sides and their clubs and suites. So wherever you're sitting um, in this stadium, if you're in a premium area, you're sitting in, in a seat uh, that was upgraded at some point in time during this project. How important was it to make those upgrades to, to that part of the stadium to match what you were trying to do with the North? Sure. Well, you're asking people wherever, wherever they're sitting in a premium area to, to, it's again, we'll talk about a premium. There's a premium price tag and a donation that's tied to Razorback, the Razorback Foundation. So you want to make sure they have a great experience and feel really, really good about their experience. And so the stadium, is, as I understand it, was in need of updating throughout, and we were able to accomplish that through, through this project. You've seen basketball big crowds you've seen baseball big crowds what do you think it's going to be like for you your first game day on Saturday yeah, I'm sure that uh, it's going to be something that I have never experienced before. I mean, I, I've had the hair stand up in the back of my neck um, at Bud Walton Arena calling the Hogs at, at midcourt and then, of course, at Bomb Stadium and even in Omaha where 20,000 uh, Razorback fans were there. But I have been looking forward to this experience in September 1st and had this date circled on my calendar. I can't wait to, to be here and, and hear our fans here in this venue um, call the Hogs as we start the Chad Morris here on Saturday. Uh, what it took to get it done? Well, 
like anything, it takes a lot, a lot of folks. We have a lot of people from our general contractors of uh, CDI and Hunt Construction to our architects, Populous and Polk Stanley, to a number of our university facility management and our own athletic facility staff that have worked hard to get to this day. Uh, we've still got a little touch up, won't be much, we're a little bit of paint that we're gonna be doing leading up to game day, but for the most part, we're ready. Uh, we're ready to go and we're excited what we're going to be able to show our fans. A lot of work to get it done to this point to be ready for Saturday. It has. It's been, if you recall, it was probably uh, December 2016 when we, we took down the existing Broil Center and all of those facilities to then get to this point where we open up. Uh, it takes a, a lot of meetings. It takes a lot of good weather. Uh, there's a number of things that, that we, you can't control in these type of projects, like weather, like uh, materials being delayed, whatever the case. And really our, our folks worked hard to um, handle any adversity that might come along the way and just focus on the, the end result, which is being done by September 1st, and we made it. How excited is the athletic department to uh, debut it on Saturday? Well, you got our, our team got to see the locker room for the first time this past Saturday. Uh, Video looked like they were pretty excited about that. Uh, it's certainly a lot more space than what they've had. Um, it certainly would appeal from a recruiting standpoint, and it's functional. Uh, there was a real emphasis on the design of this entire 315,000 square feet that was added with our north end zone to focus on functionality and how it could help game day for all fans, how it could be very functional and appealing to our patrons that purchase into these uh, various clubs and different uh, seating types of the north end zone. And uh, we feel like we've we accomplished our goal. You had a ribbon cutting Saturday, had some fans in here, the reaction that they had when they were in. The reaction seemed uh, really, the feedback was uh, beyond, was common of beyond our expectations. You know, it's, it's difficult in these projects too, where you, especially in interior spaces where you've only seen a picture and it's not uncommon for a picture to change quite a bit between uh, design and, and um, final product. And for the most part, all our spaces reflect what they saw and I think seeing that live, real, in color, I think folks were blown away at what they saw. Fans, how important were the different themes you guys came up with for each part of this North End Zone? Well, it's interesting because through that process, we had a number of various topics that we talked about, all trying to feed to our, our Razorback history, our legacy, the, certainly the, the mascot of our Razorback. Um, and just things that we know and, and folks would embrace as part of our, our history. And so when you get to our clubs, our touchdown club here on this bottom level has focused on some great touchdowns uh, moments in football. Uh, we've also gone to our SEC club, which is our, you know, we're in the SEC and we're proud of that and we show that in that experience. Our 64 club was related to our our football national championship, and then we touched on our Southwest Conference history up in a lounge space on our top suite level. We also went into our existing clubs. Uh, we changed those. Our East Indoor is now the Capital Club. Uh, what you'll see in there are uh, reflective of what's in the Little Rock, our capital city. Um, then you go to the South Outdoors, now the Cardinal Club, and that's reflective of images of our institution um, around campus. And then if you go upstairs to the South Indoor, it's now the Diamond Club, which is obviously a symbol on our state flag. It's a, we got a, a diamond mine here in the state and the Diamond Lakes down around Central Arkansas. So we were very intentional about what we want to reflect within this um, cathedral football in the state of Arkansas and we wanted to be reflective of our state. How important was it to do those updates to those clubs to not let that kind of fall to, to this, you know, where where everything was updated inside the state? Well, you know, it's it's important when you're, you're building new and folks are now going to experience a new space, it was important that we go into our existing premiums and, and dress those up and have that feel like a new experience for those folks too. Um, and we think we've accomplished that. Folks will be excited about what they see in those spaces when they come. And uh, we've had some of our suite holders and the existing suites, we also updated there. And we've had those folks commonly say it feels like it's a whole new space. So we accomplished that goal as well. Well, I think for the most part, all the, you know, the, the design and everything was laid out, the locker and obviously some of the, 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 the graphics in the areas, I think you can see that we've, we had some, some input in that. 
Um, I mean, I, I, I kind of went back as I went through there. I probably had y'all probably had the same response that I did, and our kids did was wow. You know, I, I had a fortunate, to, uh, you know, Hunter and I went over earlier in the week and walked it, and that's the first time I'd been back in it since February, and and I was blown away last Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever day it was, and even to go back in there Saturday um, and to go through the hog walk and do everything just a simulated game. A lot of the players, especially the older guys, like, you know, why why are we going through the hog walk? Why are we do? You know, how, how does this work? And and. I said, because we don't want Saturday to be the first day that you see this opportunity to see this 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 facility. Um, but when they got in there, it was just like y'all were. It was like, wow, th this is a game changer. Um, you know, just seeing pictures and the videos of what it, the finished product was going to look like didn't do it justice until you walked in there and saw the expression on our players' faces and seeing them videoing and jumping up and down and and just talking about you know how great this place is. And so. Uh, um, and then to be able to exit out and, and go through the club level, um, touch the state of Arkansas, the, the, the big monument stone there, the, the one Arkansas, the, the one Razorback stone, um, is, is symbolizes, you know, as I shared with them as we, as we got gathered right around that stone before we walked out for the, for the Beanie Bowl was that, you know, just remember we, we, we impact a lot of lives in this state. And by touching the stone, symbolize our, our ability to, to lock arms as one Razorback as we take this field. And so I, I thought it was very, uh, you know, if they had asked my, before they even had the drawings, if they had asked what you would have wanted, I, I mean, they did a great job with it. Let, let me just share you that. I mean, it, it's outstanding. I mean, you, that's, what you, that's what you look at. And, and you know, uh, certainly, you know, it was done right. I mean, it's, it's big time. There's no question about that. And, and certainly those kind of things help you in recruiting. Hopefully the players, you know, feel really, really good about it. Uh, you know, but, but ultimately, you know, you, you got to have facilities. You got to have facilities to be able to recruit. And, and uh, you know, I don't, think, uh, I don't think players around the country will go in a better game day locker room than, than we've got here at Arkansas. Uh, I really, it's impressive, uh, uh, far, far more than I envisioned before I walked in it. And, uh, I, you know, I think our, our players feel good about it. Uh, but, you know, that's not going to last long. We got to get ready when we get in there and get dressed. We got to get ready to go play a football game. And that place was unbelievable. Uh, the no, new north end zone was, you know, you walked in from hog walk, the mock, mock hog, walk, hog walk we did, and uh, walking into that locker room for the first time just to hear the players' reaction and, um, I mean, there's a lot of hooting and hollering and look at this and look at that going on. So uh, it's very, very nice. It's very, very nice. Um, and um, it's, for a recruiting standpoint, it's going to be – it's a game changer, you know, to be able to take uh, guys over there and show them what their uh, game day locker room will be like um, with their name plates on there and where they're from. I mean, I just it's, – it's first class. It's a, it's a beautiful facility and I uh, can't wait to break it out this week.